Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. Hope you're doing well today. Got a lager to review for you and it's from Sapporo, Japan. And it is their premium beer um, in their, dropping the can, in their iconic shaped can. It's supposed to resemble an absolute beer glass. This thing is an absolute unit. It's a 650 milliliter can. Um, I know Tesco used to sell this, um, but I've not seen it in there recently. I picked this one up. Um, from a beer shop not too far away from me. Um, I think I paid about three quid for it, to be fair. Not not the cheapest uh, sort of international beer in the world. But um, yeah, Sapporo, imported premium beer from Japan, says discover the perfectly balanced taste that's irresistible to all as you share rich moments with this masterpiece of the brewer's art. Um, apparently this was originally brewed by a Japanese fella who went to Germany and became a master brewer and decided to bring that recipe home and uh, it's become a bit of a success this one um it's all written in different languages on the back here there is a bit of english but not a great deal um uh, try and get some of it for you malt barley that's about all it says to be honest with you and uh, apparently it's brewed this particular one was brewed in vietnam um, I do know that the products from Sapporo that are sold in the US um, are brewed in America, Canada and Vietnam. So it's obviously one of those batches, but this apparently this particular one was brewed in Vietnam. So that's interesting enough. So yeah, massive 650ml can. I love the can. That is a unit. I love that. So uh, let's quit waffling. Let's get this beer out of this enormous can. I hope I'm shaking it up too much. That's not terrible. Wow. It is a unit. Let's give it a lively pause if we get a nice big head on it. Yes, we can. Hello, all right. Leave that there so we can see it. Sapporo. There's the lager in the glass good levels of carbonation on that one loads of bubbles roaring away on that looks lovely oh, i've got a dirty glass outrageous do apologize um but yeah lovely gold color to it good 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 levels of carbonation rushing up all over the place on that one looks the part the head is a tight quite compact foamy two finger head on it it looks lovely in the glass, that looks absolutely glorious. Proper golden, pretty translucent lager. There's no real haze to it. Looks very clean. Looks very nice. Let's get me snouting. See what the aroma's telling us, shall we? Not a great deal. <laughs> Tiny bit of sort of uh, sweet citrus. Touch of a sort of a bready malt aroma. And that's about it. But definitely a sweet citrus touch to it, like a honeyed lemon. I'd say quite a pleasant, quite a pleasant bready malt touch to it. Let's get stuck in, shall we? Cheers. Oh, that's drinkable. That's good, that's nice. Touch of bitterness at the back end. Nice bit of bready malt, it's, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's actually quite nice. Um, e Let me top it up. So I'll get all of that in there. Not quite, not quite. That looks fantastic in the glass though. That is that is a picture of lager. That really does look good. Get another one. Mm. Ah. That's really, really drinkable. I really like that. That bready malt. 
is really quite uh, quite prominent with it. It's, um, I mean, the, the guy who brewed this originally said he went to Germany, apparently, and became a brewmaster. It has um, a malt bill, a bready malt bill, which is reminiscent of many German Heller's lagers. Um, it's it's good quality. It's a good quality lager, this it is. Touch of citrus sweetness and bitterness, quite up front. There's that lovely bready malt, sort of white bread, fresh bready malt character. And then as that fades and the sweetness fades, you're left with a subtle bitterness at the back end, which gives it a very, um, a very well-rounded, very well-balanced lager drinking experience. Um, it's good. It's a good lager. I'm well impressed. This one, this is one of those beers that I've, I've seen on the show so many times over the years. And for some reason, never got round to picking it up. And then uh, I think when it came round to the time that I wanted to grab it, I think Tesco obviously decided to stop stop stocking it. I don't know if your if your local Tesco sells it. Leave your comments below. See, you, you let me know if your Tesco still stocks it. But um, yeah, I don't think they do anymore. But so luckily, I went into a local beer shop and they had some. And um, yeah, I thought I'd grab that. I've always fancied trying it. Uh, I'm glad I have. I'm glad I've done it. And that can is a keeper. That's a weapon, isn't it? <laughs> That's a beast. Um, it looks beautiful in the glass. The aroma, nothing much to write home about. Like I say, it's that touch of citrus sweetness. A little bit of bready malt character coming through. Um, and the flavour, again, it, it's, it's straightforward. It's an easy drinking lager, this one. But... Well, I'll tell you what, look at that. It's good quality. Nice bit of lacing on the glass. White bread. Slightly sweet, bready, white bready malt character to it. Really nice. That touch of sweetness, such a citrus, touch of bitterness from citrus as well. And then at the back end, you're left with a, a very, a very subtle hoppy bitterness at the back end. It's nice. It's balanced, it's well rounded, it's very drinkable, it's very refreshing, it's got a bit of body to it. Um it's it's not yeah, do you know, this is this is a lager that I'm this is a lager I want to drink again already. I I I will go out and buy another can of this quite happily. I'll probably go out and buy a couple of cans of this. It's um it's a lager I could quite happily nick a few of on a night out, night around your mate's house or something like that, you know, it's, it's 5%, um, yeah, it's good, it, you say, it's reminiscent of a good German Hellers, it, it's a nice beer, I do like it, it is, by far, the best Japanese lager I've ever had, and I've not had many to be fair, but I'll drink this over Asahi any day of the week, I love that bready malt character to it. That really gives it a depth that you just don't get with many, many international lagers, let's be fair. Um, yeah, I really like that. I think that's a cracking lager. That's nicely done. Uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of that. Um, scores for what they're worth. Um, I'll give that a solid 8 out of 10. I think that's a cracking lager. And um, I'm going to go buy some more of it. Really, really good. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you have. Until my next one, you take care.